Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be working with the Spellbinders January Large Die Kit of the Month. Before I get started, I wanted to give you a quick look at how I'm storing all of my dies. So for this larger kit, the background paper is a little too large to fit inside one of the stamp storage uh, pouches that I use. So I'm going to take all of the dies off and then where there is some sticky tape left I will just run my embossing powder tool over that. And there you can see the pouch that I'm using. So I'm going to trim this down. Usually it works great to go right in half and you can keep all the instructions on the back. And that will slide right down inside my pouch. And then I have some adhesive velcro dots. So I'll place one on the top flap and then I usually take the other one and place that right on top and flip it over. That way I know it's going to be nice and even when I fold over the flap. And then once I have that done, I just go ahead and store all of my dies inside the pouch. And I keep them right along with my stamp sets, which I store exactly the same way. So here for card number one, I have gone ahead and I've trimmed out the sort of wrap for the paper bouquet from a leftover piece of a Simon Says Stamp uh, card kit bag that everything comes in. And then I went ahead and I scored that on all of the score lines. And I've left in this full sort of creation of the bouquet just so you can see how I've fussed around with things and trimmed things where I needed to to make sure that it would all fit the way that I wanted. I've used three different greens for my leaves with this set. I'm using from Paper Tray Ink Simply Chartreuse. It's the lightest color. Uh, or I'm sorry, that's the medium color. And then I've used from MFT Sour Apple, which is the lightest color, and Jelly Bean Green, which is the darkest. So once I'm happy with how I have everything positioned, I'm going to add a little bit of score tape over top of that just to hold it in place while I complete uh, putting the wrap together. And then I'll go ahead and fold all of that into place. Now once I had that down, I decided I wanted to have a little bit more greenery in with my flowers. So I am going to grab two little sprigs that I have trimmed down and I'll add those in with my art glitter glue. They are off to the side. You can see I've cut out a bunch of flowers. The colors that I'm using for this bouquet are both from Paper Tree Ink. The light is the mint julep and the darker is tropical teal. Now go ahead and I have curved all of the little petals up to give it some nice dimension and I'll just place those down using my art glitter glue. Now once I've let all of that dry, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the bouquet with some twine. The die set did come with a bow that you could add, but I just love the look of twine on that paper bag, so that's what I'm going to use for mine. I've wrapped this around several times just to cover that opening in between the two sections, and I did that using some score tape at the back. And then I'm going to trim off another little piece of twine here, and I will just tie that in a bow around all of that. Finally, I'm going to add some score tape all along the back of the finished bouquet. So there you'll see off to the side, I have gone ahead and cut out that Cherish sentiment. I cut that out three times using MFT's Black Licorice cardstock. And then I did go ahead and layer all three on top of one another. I'm keeping that out for the sake of time, um, but I just used our glitter glue in between all of them and that way I could move them around to make sure they were nice and perfectly lined up. For the inside there, I'm on a Nina panel trimmed to four by five and a quarter. I used one of the stamp sets from the January card kit that reads, everything is better with you by my side. And then I also grabbed a piece of the mint julep cardstock and just stamped out that you sentiment. 
Here I'm going to start putting everything together on the front. So I've removed the backing from my score tape and I'm going to place down my bouquet. And I am working on a card panel made from MFT's whipped cream. And then I'll add some art glitter glue to the back of that cherished sentiment. And it does take a little while when you layer those sentiments, but every time I do it, I just think to myself how nice it looks and I should do it every time. It really gives a great depth and it's almost like a chipboard piece. Um, so you can really see it standing out from the card base in person. And then there at the bottom, you'll see I trimmed out that U sentiment and I just added a little bit of a flag on one end. I placed some score tape behind that and I'm gonna place that underneath the Cherish. I'm gonna finish off this inside panel with a quarter inch strip of that mint julep cardstock. I'll go ahead then and trim off the excess add some ATG to the back, and then I'll place that on the inside of my card base. And that will complete card number one. Here for card number two, to save time, I've gone ahead and laid things out. I have trimmed out that really pretty lacy heart and I used from my stash some rose gold foil paper. This was from a die cuts with a view stack. I will link that for you if I can find it. And then I'm using the smaller leaves that came in the die set and I have again trimmed those out in the same colors. Um, for this one I'm using just that Simply Chartreuse and Jelly Bean Green. And I'm just layering these in three little sections underneath that heart. So I've gone ahead and used my post-it tape to keep that heart in place. I wanted to be able to lift it while I was gluing down the leaves and keep everything somewhat in the position that I had it in. So once I have all the leaves glued down, I'm just gonna peel away that tape and then I will lift up the heart and just add some dots of glue behind where that is and then that will secure everything in place. For my card base here, this is made from Paper Tray Inks Autumn Rose. And then the sentiment off to the side, I have again stacked in a three and glued together. And that was cut out from Paper Tray Inks Smoky Shadow. Then you'll also see I've got my flowers cut out there. The white is that MFT whipped cream and the pink is their tickled pink. Go ahead and glue those in place as well. For the inside, I'm again on my trusty Nina panel, trimmed to four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna stamp out the sentiment, love is all you need. Again, this is from the January card kit. And I've used my American Crafts Leaf Pigment Ink here. Then I grabbed three more of those little, little leaves that are trimmed out from the MFT Jelly Bean Green. I'm just gonna line these up here along the bottom. I've gone ahead and trimmed off the excess. I'll add some ATG here to the back and then place that on the inside of my card base. And that will complete card number two. So here 
for card number three, I've gone ahead and laid everything out and I have made that bouquet off camera to save some time. I was there showing you that I had popped this one up with some sticky thumb foam dots on the back of it. I've trimmed out that cherished sentiment using that same rose gold uh, foil paper from Die Cuts with a View. And I will go ahead and just use one layer of that rather than multiple since I've got the shiny finish. The rest of the paper is from Paper Tray Ink. So my card base is made from Lavender Moon. The heart is trimmed out from Smoky Shadow. And the flowers in the bouquet are Autumn Rose and Plum Pudding. I've again gone ahead and used some post-it tape to hold that heart down in place as I add my glue behind it. Then I thought that the curve of that cherished sentiment worked really nicely above the two curves of the heart. So I'm going to go ahead and add some glue to the back of that and then I will place that down. And then finally, I'll go ahead and remove all of the sticky from my pop dots and I'll place that down on top of the heart. Here for the inside, I've again got my Nina panel trimmed to four by five and a quarter. I'm going to use, again, one of the stamps from the January card kit, It's Always Been You, and I will stamp that out using VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. Finally then, to finish off that panel, I will add a stripe of that Autumn Rose cardstock that measures about a quarter of an inch just along the bottom here. Go ahead and trim off the excess, add some ATG to the back, and place that on the inside of my card base. And that will complete card number three. Off camera, I created a bunch more of those bouquets and packaged them up to send out in some happy mail. I've got a photo of those on my blog post, which you'll find linked in the description box below. There you'll also find additional photos as well as links to the supplies I used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.